Hey, Snell Creek Homestead. Hey, we're going to be talking about some Jerusalem artichoke today. Jerusalem artichoke is a food source here that we use on the on the farm. And uh, you can also make a pesticide uh, if you boil the leaves and uh, you know the stalk down. It takes about four or five hours to kind of boil it down, make a pesticide. I'll make a video on making, uh, it's J-Dom, J-A-D-A-M. It's Korean style farming. Uh, works good for the homestead because you have a lot of uh, low input fertilizers and pesticides you can make. So, that will be a good, uh, I got my good thing here to do here on the homestead is keep them input costs down also it has a so we see it's got pretty flowers good for pollinators this one's got a little age on it but that looks pretty nice it's in the sunflower family it has a little root uh, this is beginning of August so they're still growing they'll be growing for a while and uh, it's just a little tuber you can eat it for uh, raw you can eat it cooked pickled uh, raw is good like cut up thin uh, and then you could uh, put it in salads and such and then that, that'd be good for uh, that but there's a little bit of a caveat here on Jerusalem artichoke or they call it sun choke the other one name is uh, farter choke so when it's raw it can give you some gas maybe like a bloating filling uh it's really good for you though it's got a lot of a lot of minerals and you know best or uh, vitamins and such uh high fiber so that's something to look at into i don't know all the health benefits i just know it'll feed my family uh, on the homestead at a cheaper price um i haven't tried feeding it to livestock yet but as i ramp up production here i'm gonna have multiple areas growing um drawback for me is i got heavy heavy deer um pressure and they'll eat that they'll eat that down so knowing that you know i run a purebred goat uh herd here you see some other videos here on the homestead they would definitely eat this so you could uh chop it pr probably for feed uh st feed stock um I haven't tried it, so you might have to look into that a little bit. But as I start getting a higher amounts of it, I'll be able to do things like that. Just come in with a sigh and just sigh it right off. Uh, tuber's good. It's got good weed suppression. You don't see any weeds in it. It just ain't. It, it chokes out the weeds. The weeds don't want to grow in it. So let's jump to a little bit of permaculture talk. You know, you're like, you know, what's permaculture? So in permaculture we would use this uh for some weed suppression bring pollinators in uh for uh bring it uh the, for uh predators and to kill some of these weed, weeds kill some of these uh insects that's rough on your your fruit trees and and uh, bushes and such I also use it for a chop and drop you can just chop it drop it as a mulch and that would work fabulously so that that would be a great thing to have um like i said the pollinators come in and uh you know the permaculture thing's great you just need to we need to do a lot more learning on what nature likes and not what you know maybe we like sometimes so i'm trying to keep these short just trying to get straight to the point drew some artichokes sun chokes um I have a, another video on this on my other channel. My other channel is Food Plant Nursery Brookville. Uh, I have a small nursery, backyard permaculture type thing. I'm trying to get off the ground. We'll see if we can make any headway with that. But um, yeah, that's a good channel. You can look that up on YouTube also if you're interested in it. Uh, I do more growing things there and um, less livestock. We'll be putting some more livestock videos out here, goats. Um, they're definitely... You know they're doing good sold all my weathers which that was a good good thing that's a good work all year for that payday so uh 
we're going to be getting the does fattened back up on pasture, rotating, um, just getting them ready for breeding season here, probably October. So let's keep growing up food out there. If we can grow up food, keep up cost all down and have a little extra money in your pocket. Snuckery Creek Homestead. Keep growing up food. Out.